Hello, I'm Nancy Bell from Oshkosh Public Library, and this is Book Buzz, where I'll take one book that's been recently getting a lot of buzz on bestsellers lists, review sites, or social media, and then I'll break it down into definable elements and suggest three books that have similar themes, writing styles, or characters, overall just general vibes. In Leon Moriarty's newest New York Times bestseller, Apples Never Fall, the Delaney's are a family of tennis stars who are perfect at least on the outside. Stan and Joy have sold their tennis school, now they're retired, and they now have good relationships with their adult children, Amy, Troy, Logan, and Brooke. But then on Valentine's Day, Joy goes missing, and the evidence is building against Stan, and it's exposing secrets hidden within the family from the family members themselves. So we have this almost classic Moriarty setup that worked beautifully in Big Little Lies, uh, where we have a mystery setup, and then we have time jumps and perspective swaps to solve it. So let's break down the elements of Apples Never Fall that I'll be looking for in a read-alike. We're looking for a psychological suspense fiction novel. You know, the thinking or mental acrobatics is really driving the story. It's not the action-packed movie stunts of a Fast and Furious movie, but it's all about the inner workings of the mind as we're trying to solve this mystery. It has a really intricate plot. It's a complicated story with twists and turns, lots of details we should be paying attention to. And it's really compelling in its writing style. We're drawn into the story. We want to keep turning those pages. The characters themselves are flawed. Uh, they're characters who don't always act in their best interest and they're making misguided decisions. You know, those characters that make us shout, what are you doing? Um, and the story is also told from multiple perspectives. We're not being told the story from one person and their point of view. We're following around these different people and we learn what they know. So keeping those elements in mind, let's start going through our read-alikes. Read-alike number one, Confessions on the 745 by Lisa Unger. When Selena Murphy is delayed getting back to her sons by her train stalling on the tracks, she bides her time, as many of us would, by befriending a stranger in an accompanying seat. Both of these people become quick confidants and share one secret with the other. The stranger's secret? She's having an affair with her boss. Selena's secret is that she suspects her husband is having an affair with the nanny. Two days later, the nanny disappears and Selena's social media perfect life begins unraveling. So let's go ahead and break down Confessions on the 745 into the elements like we did with Apples Never Fall. It is a psychological suspense novel and the suspense is also built around a disappearance just like in Apples Never Fall. It is intricately plotted and told in a compelling writing style. We pay close attention to those details as we race page by page to solve that mystery. It is told from multiple perspectives. We're following different characters around. It's not just told by one single character. And as a bonus, it even has a family with secrets theme. So that all of those elements make it a viable read-alike for Apples Never Fall. Read-alike number two, Unraveling Oliver by Liz Nugent. This one is a different kind of psychological thriller. In this one, we know the culprit. What we don't know or understand is the motive as our main character, Oliver Ryan, calmly describes his violent assault against his wife in the very first chapter. And so the book progresses through this series of flashbacks of Oliver's life, but it's told from the perspectives of various family members, friends, and acquaintances who knew Oliver and Alice at different times during the past. And so it slowly peels back and reveals Oliver's story, piece by piece, building up to this burst of violence. So again, we do have a psychological suspense novel. It's all very mental, not very much physical action going on, no crazy car chases. We have a really complex and intricate plot as we're trying to connect these flashbacks into a single comprehensive story that is told from A to Z instead of in these time period jumping shenanigans. Uh, again, we have these flawed characters. We have those, what are you doing moments as we follow these different characters narrating the story. And as they are narrating the story, they are multiple perspectives. And bonus, we have a plot that is centered on this long married couple and their marital conflict. 
So another great read alike if you enjoy Apples Never Fall by Leon Moriarty. And we have our third and final read alike, All We Ever Wanted by Emily Giffen. When Nina Browning's Princeton bound son posts an explicit photograph of a female scholarship student online, it triggers a scandal in Nashville high society. And Nina, a wife and mother, finds herself sympathizing more with the girl's family than her own, reflecting upon her own past. And so chapter by chapter, this story delves into issues of class and privilege. Uh, and these questions are unraveled by these switching perspectives of Nina herself, Lila, who is the scholarship student victim, and Lila's father, Tom. So with the multiple points of view from Nina, Lila, and Tom, it really matches well with our multiple perspectives that we're looking for from Apples Never Fall. It is psychological suspense. All of the action is cerebral and we wait to actually figure it out. What is going on? It's intricately plotted and compelling. Again, we need to know the truth. Was it her son that posted this photo? Is he hiding something? Who is he protecting? And again, it has that theme exploring family and social dynamics with a bonus of delving into issues of sex, class, and privilege. And so these four elements, again, make it a spot on read alike if you enjoy or are looking to enjoy Leon Moriarty's Apples Never Fall. And those are the three read-alikes that I have for you today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to Oshkosh Public Library's YouTube channel for more content as always. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave a comment. Or you can always get a hold of me at the library reference desk, which I'll link our email to down below. Thanks for watching and let's all get back to reading.